Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue Version. So in the last episode we defeated Alpha and beat the game. The normal ending that is, well actually that's the only ending, but uh, there's a whole bunch of post-game stuff we have to do here and I'm sorry that we had to show the ending and then there's still more game to play that kind of brings down the epicness of it all, but um, there's certain stuff in this game you just can't do after until after you've beaten the game regardless no matter what you do, so it was really unavoidable and uh, you know, we have to do it. So, especially since I did say I was going to 100% this game, and I would love to 100% this game because a lot of the cool stuff in this game is after you beat the game. So, uh, as you may have noticed there, um, pretty much after you beat the game, you get that yellow star at the continue thing, which I showed you guys. And it pretty much just starts you off from your last save, which in our case, and all of your cases, it should be too. You should have saved right before the room with Wily. So, um,. Yeah, so it'll just be like nothing happened except the game now knows that you have beaten the game, so certain things will become unlocked. So, first thing I'm going to do is we want to actually go to Hades Isle here. And you may think it's because we want to fight Shod, because uh, Shod did say we would fight after Adam Hades Isle once we once all this is over. And um, you can actually find Shod here. He'll still say the same thing at the W3 base, but he'll also be here inside. But anyway, we want to come to the top of Hades out because now we have this guy over here. This is the Quiz King, and this guy will only be here until once uh, once you beat the game. And this is the last guy, so let's do it. And this guy has 15 questions, I believe. All right. So how much is a ticket from ACDC Town to Yoka for a child? It's free, obviously. If it costed money, we'd be out, bro. We'd be out of money. Sorry if I sound a little weird too, guys, and sorry that I didn't upload an episode today, I don't, or maybe it's yesterday, uh, Tuesday, whatever day that was, because I don't know when this will upload, but pretty much, um, yeah, on my day off I planned to record a whole bunch of stuff, but I got sick, so I'm still kind of sick, so sorry if my voice sounds a little different. What's the attack force of Cannonball? 160 damage. Alright, question number three. Dr. Hikari's lab is in what floor of the Psy Lab? It's on the fifth floor. I don't know how you're supposed to know that, I really don't, but... Oh well. Alright, Spider has 8, a Rhino has 4, and ha and how many have you? Well, he's talking about legs, so we have 2 legs, I think. Alright, question number 5. Uh, what did Gutsman have to face in the Endurance Contest? Heat. He had to fight, um, he was on that, uh, in Yoka, he was at that heater thing from the spa. I don't know what it was. Alright, how many girls are in Class 5A? There are 4. Once again, I don't know how you're supposed to know that or why you'd ever pay that much attention to it, but... How does Tamako decorate her hair? With a silver gear, which uh, represents Guts Man. That, that one you could, should probably know. Alright, what field was Wily the Master? Robots. Yeah. Kind of weird, I guess. Alright, what is the game's second title? It's Battle Network. Duh. Come on. What is Bubble Man's dance called? It's called the Bubbly Dance. Duh. Everybody knows that. Okay. What type of Navi is Beast Man? He's a beast. What the hell? What was Higsby's job in the past? He was a teacher. A fishmonger? Seriously, what the hell is a fishmonger? What name is on the pillars in Metroline Beach Station? Street Beach, which is weird, I guess, but oh well, whatever works. Alright, in the past, what was Yai crazy about? She was crazy about folding fans. I, I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out either, but okay. Alright, and the last question, what is the title of the DNN TV series? It is Love and Loss. I don't know how you're supposed to, I think that's what the people, the show they're doing in the N1, or in the DNN studio if you go there now, like when we went to go fight Bull Man. So, anyways, we get for this, Navi plus 40 star, and yeah, you saw a winner, buddy, and you're about to die anyway, so. Anyway. Navi plus 40, now we can finally get rid of that Navi plus 20, and this will make Roll obscenely powerful. And actually, um, right after this, we're going to be getting a lot. And I mean a lot. Wait, what? Navi plus 20 is in a mega chip? Holy shit. Okay, well, do I want to get rid of any of these? Hmm. And I guess Navi plus 40, attack plus 30. You know what? Actually, we'll leave it. That's fine, I guess. Totally forgot that was a mega chip, but oh well. Anyway, we might want to switch that in our folder once we get some better uh, Navi chips, which we'll actually finally be doing now. We've been putting this off the whole game, and we actually probably should have done it a lot earlier, but I just never really felt like it. 
and uh, it doesn't really do anything, have any immediate consequences until after uh, you beat the game, so I just figured we'd wait till now anyway. Okay guys, we're actually here in Yoka. Uh, I don't really know why I'm here, because we don't need to be here, but hell, I just figured I'd cut in here. I think I went here by mistake, because we actually are going to go to ACDC. So what we want to do is go to the Yoka net area. Wait, what, what was the fastest way there? Wasn't it? Oh, it is from Yoko. No, I know what I was thinking. It's from Tamako's table, much like everything else in the game. Yeah, because Tamako's HP leads to Yoka, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, we want to go to the Yoka area because what we're going to actually be doing now is fighting the version 2 navvies, or the alpha navvies, if you will. Um, the version 2 or the alpha ghost navvies. Now, what these are, are pretty much... You could talk to somebody about this, and I think they'll tell you. Or it's on a BBS, a chat board, or something. But pretty much, once you defeat um, the navvies in the main game, like Bubble Man and Drill Man and all those guys, Flash Man, um, this, that will release a the alpha version of that navvy, but it'll be in ghost form, because obviously it's not, they're not going to be real, they're going to be dead, but pretty much that will release a navvy in a random spot of the net. Um, pretty much if you go and step on like a certain square, for example, like this square right here, there would be the data for Flashman version 2 or Flashman Alpha would be here. So as soon as I step on this square in the net, it'd initiate me in a battle with Flashman version 2. And we get to battle him and uh, certain things would happen. So pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to go on the net and we're going to be looking for all of the version 2 navvies or the alpha navvies. Um, specifically because to do, once we defeat all the version 2 navvies, the version 3 or the beta version navvies will be released and we need to defeat all them to unlock something really awesome. So pretty much we want to come to Yoka here, and I guess we can get this. And what we need to do is go to Yoka 1 by the Bug Frag Trader, and he's actually... We gotta go, um, come in from Yoka 1 to get there. Luckily we've got Sneak Run equipped, so it shouldn't be a problem. And, uh, when you're looking for these guys right now, you don't have to equip Sneak Run or anything, because, like I said, they're in specific spots, specific trigger spots. So as soon as you step on that square, you'll know. And you'll know when you run into one of these because uh, the transition screen is going to be a little different. Mega Man's going to like stop, and it's not going to get all pixelated. It's just going to turn white the screen. So yeah, and this early in the game, I was talking about this pretty much. Um, they're at a lot of dead end spots and all that. So a lot of these version two or uh, alpha navvies are in small spots on the net, like dead ends and stuff. So. Anyway, the one we're going after right now is, I guess we'll get the hardest one out of the way first, Bubble Man. He is going to be at a dead end here behind the Bug Frag Trader, which is this guy right here. So pretty much we want to save. And he should be in one of these squares right here. Okay, what the fuck, man? I know he's here. I really do. Oh, actually, you know what? I think he's just by the Bug Frag Trader. Maybe it's this dead end right here. Okay, it's going to be one of these. It's one of these little dead end spots right here, because I know it's by the bug frag trader. Okay, not that one, maybe this one. There we go. Okay, so as you saw, we stepped on the spot and it kind of turned white, and now we're fighting Bubble Man Alpha. So pretty much we're going to need to do this through um, and find all of the boss navvies we fought in the game. And we're going to have to beat them. Now, uh, this fight particularly, this is the only fight, the only alpha fight where when you fight this guy, it's a set chip you're gonna get no matter what rank you get so it doesn't really matter how bad you beat this guy just pretty much as long as you beat him so uh, let's use some fast gauge let's throw some shake weight up in this business fast gauge for the whistle yeah, we'll throw a shake weight over there just to mess with this guy and that'll do some damage to him and as you can see that's multi-targeting and that's what that meant by that so yeah um, why did I do use that heal 120 I don't even know okay well I guess we'll get a metal stage going here That'll be kind of nice. I don't know what... Because he doesn't really crack the panels anyway. Or does his bomb crack the panels? I don't know. Alright, so I really don't want to take damage from this guy this time. Because he's just been poning me the whole game. And I'm sick of it, frankly. So let's kick some ass. Boom, you like that? Oh yeah, we took that hit, but that's okay. So pretty much the same way we fought this guy last time. You just want to make sure you keep, keep the bubbles in check. And uh, kick Bubble Man's ass when you get the chance. I did put like one or two new chips in my folders. I got rid of a lot of the multi-hit chips like Tornado, and I put uh, Metagel 2 in my folder. Other than that, I don't think I made any significant changes. 
Oops, damn it, that hit me. Looks like the bubbles were getting a little frantic there. I had to take care of that. Alright, looks like he's going for something back there. Let's uh, throw that back there and mess with him. Wow, it's, it kind of makes you immobile a little bit. Oh, he's in his little thingy now. Lovely. Ah, damn it. I got deleted. Well, I kept stepping right into a spike, so I guess that's my fault. That's okay. I'm going to leave this in because um, I want to show you guys just how hard these navvies actually are. Most of them actually aren't that tough. We've actually even fought a lot of these Alpha Navvies already in the W3 comp. I'm pretty sure we even fought Bubble Man Alpha. And we beat him, so it's not really a big deal. I think we've already fought this guy in the W3 comp, but now it actually has some purpose. So let's just throw anti-damage in here. We'll wait for him to throw one of his things and just let it hit us. Yeah, hit me. Hit me, fool. Ha ha, you lose. Okay, and let's just do that again. And then I'll show you guys what Metagel 2 does. It's actually pretty much the same as Metagel 1, but it does more damage, so... Hit me! Ha ha ha, you die. Alright, so this is what Metagel does. It pretty much uh, is like Area Grab. It takes those squares, but if it hits them, it does like 100 and something damage. I don't know, but it's pretty awesome. Okay, so... We get the Shake Weight up in his grill again. Oh, the game is being super laggy right now. Oh my god, it's so laggy that I don't even... Oh, is he in that form already? Wow. Sorry I'm not talking, but I just don't want to die again. Freaking A, man. Okay, I guess we could use Invis so that we don't die, and then we could use two big waves. That should kill him. Go, go, go! Damn it, why didn't that work? And his bubble shield came back on, damn it. Ah, uh, you're not gonna get me, you fucker. Alright, we'll use another Invis. Uh, I guess we could use uh, Long Sword and then Step Cross would be great. Get over here. You die. Oh, and we countered him. Cool. Alright, so we got a 6 busting level. 46 seconds, not bad. And for this battle, you will get the Bubble Man chip no matter what you do. So, yay, we finally got the Bubble Man chip. Yes. And then for countering him, since when you counter bosses, you get 10 bug frags. Yes, 10. So, that is quite a good way to do it. And it will say, the remaining data from the Navi rose up and drifted away. So yeah, that means Bubble Man Alpha has been purged from the net. And it automatically restores your health. So that is just wonderful. So we're going to jack out. Oh my god, I can't believe we only got one Navi done in this video. Should I go for the second one? Where is he at? Uh, he's in the beach area. Uh, oh yeah, we can get to the beach from Tamako's thingy. So I guess we can go in and do it. Make this a little semi-longer episode. Well, at least now I know that, like, 30-minute episodes can be... I can actually upload 30-minute episodes with this, and it will, won't exceed the 2 gigabyte file size. <coughs> so I'm not too worried about that now. Oh, I'm so sick. Okay, so here we are back in Beach area, and we want to go to Beach 1, which uh, is by... Is this the way to go? No, it's not. Beach 1 is where... Uh, is the other beach besides this area. It's the one where um, you use the hospital code to open that stupid area thingy. Yeah, I know it's quite a vague description. Anyways, using that W3 ID and opening this door is actually very helpful because now we can just go straight over here to beach one and not have to go on that upper path. Not that it really matters. It's not that bad. To go all the way around anyway, but... Ugh. I'm gonna sneeze in a second here. Oh, excuse me, man. Woo! Anyway, pretty much up here uh, where the hospital code thingy is, you want to go around here, and right over here is where Desert Man is going to be. So make sure you save, like always, because we can die. I mean, we died last time. Get 1200 Zenny, and now step on this spot, and we've got Desert Man Alpha. Now, we've already fought this guy before and beat him too, so... We're faster and stronger now, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, I'm a little impaired. I'm sick, but... So I guess that'll make this kind of interesting. Well, let's throw an anti-damage in there and then let ourselves get hit. Yay! Aha, you suck. Oh, that was a cheap shot, and you know it. Oh, your little hand saved you from that one. But will it save you from step cross? No, it will not. Ouch, that hurts. Look, 840 damage on that mug. 
And that'll do that. I'll take the hit, fine. Uh, let's do Metal Stage just to mess with this guy, because I know he hates that when I destroy his uh, sand. His little sand dunes. He doesn't like it. Oh, that didn't hit him. Well, it's because that sand pit was right in the way. Okay, I guess we could use Metagel and take these guys as square. And heal back to full HP. Boom, and that'll destroy those guys. So it destroys them, but we don't get the panels because they were in the way, so... All right, and that should uh, remove him, and it moved him into a shitty spot, of course. But we can use Condor! And Invisible. And Shizuki. Let's do a full gauge. All right, now he's right up in the open. So, I think I'm going to go for a Hero Sword of Justice. No, we won't use Folder back yet. We still got some good chips. See ya! And destroyed your stupid little hand, too. Oh, now you're going to hide in that little corner like a puss again. Alright, what can we do? I guess we can throw mine in there. Well, once again, we'll hold off on folder back. Oh my god, this guy's only got 330 HP left already? Sweet. Cool beans. Oh, that guy tried to block me. Oh, that block actually paralyzes you. Oh, I had no idea. Okay. We can go with anti-damage, and that'll be good for now. Man, I've got such an alphabet freaking soup on this thing, I didn't even... Hit me. Yeah, boom. You like that, Desert Man, huh? Can I kill him with Mirror Monster right now? I can't. He's not in prime positioning for Step Sword. Because his thing's blocking him, so I guess that means I'll just have to uh, destroy his block, or his hand, whatever. And Shazam, that'll just reset. Okay, and now he's in the perfect position to die from Step Sword. Just make sure it does enough damage. Yeah, it wouldn't have done enough damage. Oh, wait, shit, it's still not going to do enough. That's only 160. Well, it should do something. All right. What does he have now left? 20 HP? Come on. All right, well, we should have something that can do the trick. Oh, yes, big wave. That'll do it. That'll do her. Oh, man, I got hit. That's crap. Ow, you guys are being quite relentless now that you know you're going to die. Jesus, man. Shit. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point that there, I don't think there's anything... You, why did I just use Metal Stage again? Oh, well. I think it's pretty obvious at this point there's nothing you can really do, so... I don't see the point. Alright, now you're dead. Anti-damage and... Desert Man Alpha? Nice knowing you. Man, that took way longer than it was supposed to. Way, way, way longer. And we got a rank 1. Ugh! And for that, we get the Desert Man chip. Now, if you get a better rank on this guy, I believe you can get up to the Desert Man version 2 chip. But, uh, yeah, his the data from the Navi rose up and drifted away, so he's gone. But um, the version 3 Navis, I believe you can find multiple times in a row, so we will get a chance to get better Desert Man chips and uh, Bubble Man chips and all that crap, so don't worry about it. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, we defeated two of the Alpha Navis, or the version 2 Navis, and in the next episode, we're going to go after the rest of them. So, pretty much, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fighting in these next few episodes, so get used to it. I guess it's kind of exciting, maybe. Anyways, hopefully I get better soon, so that I can uh, record some more. Maybe some Shadow Colossus bonus episodes, and all that stuff, but I don't know why I'm talking about that here. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue Version. Peace out.